Hello guys, welcome to .NET Training Academy. In this video, we are going to talk about Java vs C Sharp in 2019. So, let's get into it. So firstly, we talk about Java. We all know Java is an object-oriented language. Actually, it is created for the purpose for the multi-platform, uh, which means platform independent programming language. At the stage of 1990s, there is a problem uh, where the compiled based languages like C++, C are dominated. But the problem is they cannot uh, be uh, transferred from one platform to another platform we need to write a separate code for each platforms so there uh, Gosling James Gosling developed uh, in platform independent language which is Java so after that the Java uh, within a few years Java uh, is uh, after a few years Java is uh, bought by Oracle from Sun Microsystem and then the level of Java is just uh, boomed like a magic. So more than 300 billion devices are approximately running uh, using the Java programming language. So it is a very highly popular language uh, so far now. And in the next end we are going to compete the C Sharp which is an, another programming language. At the time of the rivalry between the .NET and the Oracle's Java, uh, .NET decided to create a cool programming language like Java. So what they did is they combined the power and the performance of C++ and the features of Java and they created the language called C Sharp by Anders Haysberg. So uh, it is uh, obviously it is very similar to Java which is an object-oriented uh, programming language uh, but the thing is it is it has a lot more uh, features than Java when it comparing to programming language it has a lot of cool features than Java so so let's talk about Java with a C Sharp in 2019 so far now we learned or we dis uh, we talked about uh, what is thing but now why to learn something so uh, this is for the newbies, those who wanted to learn a programming language. This is not for the intermediate guys or the experienced uh, high-tech ninjas. But also I would like to state that the status of both the programming languages. So it will be helpful for the experienced people. So head-to-head -head features in uh, features of Java and C Sharp. So when it compared to the programming features, uh, Java has a very good programming features. It has all the object-oriented stuffs and the threading and the lambda expressions, lot of features. But when it compares to C Sharp, uh, Java has a little bit less features when comparing to C Sharp because C Sharp has enormous amount of feature in programming. For example, Lambda expression, delegates, generics, link, and um, a lot more stuff, properties, indexers. So when comparing to features, uh, C Sharp goes ahead. So, and then the library support. Uh, the library support for the both the Java and the .NET is very very awesome because the libraries like uh, uh, this this in the Java section we use uh, something like a jar but in the C sharp area we use uh, something like a NuGet packages so while searching for both 
the libraries there are there is lot uh, millions of libraries in the market for both the programming languages so the next thing is performance when comparing to performance uh, with Java and C sharp uh, before uh, some years both is equal so there is no uh, competition both is equal because uh, Java is also used in enterprise areas as well as C sharp dot net also used in enterprise areas but now after the introduction of dot net core from Microsoft there is an uh, enormous amount of performance improvement from C sharp so they introduced uh, a cross platform and the Linux platform based uh, stuffs and also they just enhanced the um, performance in the .NET Core so it is as compatible to the fastest uh, language which is Node.js so the both the stuff is uh, compa uh, competitive because uh, both the C Sharp .NET Core and the Node.js is as fast as they can. Uh, but here, uh, the performance for now at 2018-19, Java is not uh, as competitive to C Sharp. But obviously, Java is still used in the enterprise uh, world. And when it comes to support, I would directly go to the Java because there are there are a lot of developers, there are a lot of supports for Java when comparing to C sharp. So let's see about Java in development areas. So uh, when we talk about the platforms, there are a lot of platforms that Java can be used like web development, desktop application development, mobile development, and the backend world like data uh, bases. So when in, in web development, uh, Java uses the two popular uh, frameworks, which is uh, Spring and Play, because these uh, Spring MVC and the Play framework uh, are very popular nowadays and I thought this will be the future uh, for the Java web frameworks because uh, most of the Hibernate and Strut uh, developers uh, is migrated to Spring MVC uh, so the Spring is uh, really a cool and high enterprise uh, framework and the play framework is uh, it's a modern new technology based framework and it is a lightweight framework uh, uh, that uh, the not only Java there is also a Scala language is used in play framework so when it comes to desktop application development uh, the olden days they used uh, swing um, applets kind of stuff but now they are using Java FX because uh, there are a lot of features in JavaFX. Uh, even we can use CSS-based styling in JavaFX. So JavaFX is uh, really a very uh, uh, popular thing and also a very suitable thing for desktop application development. So when talking about data world, Java really in the head because the big data, the word big data Nowadays, uh, Java is uh, big data or highly used in the programming language uh, called Java. So a lot of uh, big companies like Google, Facebook, YouTube also using Java for the backend processing in the big data. So and and the next thing is mobile. In mobile, Android is the very popular native uh, application development but uh, uh, this has a little bit uh, problem because uh, uh, Kotlin Google officially introduced Kotlin as the new programming language for uh, the replacement of Java so this is a not a good thing for Java because Kotlin is uh, uh, very easier than Java and it is uh, it has uh, less few lines uh, when comparing to Java 
and it is a little bit faster than Java. So uh, when comparing these things, Kotlin goes ahead in application development. So C sharp in development. So when comparing with Java and C sharp, uh, there are a lot of uh, extra platforms and extra uh, things added uh, in the C sharp .NET core. So web development, uh, we can use ASP.NET core. Uh, so using ASP.NET core, we can host the applications in Linux based servers. And if we wanted the Windows based server, we can prefer to be ASP.NET MVC, which is a .NET standard and we can also use asp.net razor pages uh, the razor pages means php based uh, application development where in php we can uh, directly embed dynamic uh, code in the html itself so but in the core or mvc we are using a separate design pattern for that So, and then in, uh, in the desktop application development, we are having an awesome uh, framework, which is uh, UWP, Universal Windows Platform. Uh, using the UWP, we can use the Windows 10 uh, desktop application, tablets, phones, uh, Xbox, and a lot of platforms, which, which is uh, simply called Universal. And also Windows Presentation Foundation, which is a desktop application, uh, it's, which is a, a legacy kind of uh, application development software. And the, finally, Xamarin Mac, which is used to develop uh, Mac applications using C Sharp. Uh, so when going to data, Azure is playing a very, very big role nowadays. So uh, the so in DevOps uh, there are a lot of uh, improvements and a lot of features added in Azure, uh, Hadoop big data like Hadoop SQL Server, Spark, Hbase, Hive, and Document DB. A lot of uh, backend database stuffs are uh, added, and Azure technology is uh, playing very very. Uh, important role in technology so when it comparing with uh, the java and c sharp in data world uh, i would go for java in this case but when compares to web development desktop application de web development uh, i can i should go for the c sharp in desktop application development, uh, I will go for Java because uh, using Java, we can uh, write cross-platform application development like Windows, Mac, as well as Linux. But here, uh, the two operating systems, one is Windows and another one is uh, Mac. So, and finally, the data uh, is, um, uh, when compare when when seeing the data, I would go for Java, and in mobile, I would not go for Java because there is a cross-platform as well as native application development in C Sharp. If we wanted a cross-platform application development, we can use Xamarin Forms. If we want native, we can use Xamarin Native. So there is also another cool stuff which is Internet of Things, uh, which is. Uh, Microsoft uh, Windows IoT Core uh, introduced a Raspberry Pi's uh, cloud for Windows IoT. So this is uh, the new version of .NET Core 3 uh, will be introduced in within few months. So what is the advantage, uh, the real uh, stuff in this .NET Core 3 is uh, the desktop applications can be developed using the .NET Core uh, before that uh, and now uh, .NET standard is used for uh, developing web uh, sorry when desktop applications now we can also do with .NET Core so this is basically Windows only uh, and uh, we can also use a .NET Core 3 cross-platform 
for web ASP.NET Core data entity framework. And in the finally, AI and ML, which means artificial intelligence and machine learning. .NET is going to officially release their machine learning .NET library, which is going to be the really very, very, very big massive change in Microsoft.NET. So, so what, what we should pick, Java or C Sharp? Well, if we, if you guys ask this question before uh, five or uh, 10 years, everyone, even me, will go for Java. This will sounds uh, irritating or sounds bad for a lot of people, but I, I should uh, deliver my statement here. Uh, it may vary for everyone, those who are Java developers. So I would say now C Sharp, go for C Sharp, because C Sharp uh, has a lot of features, a lot of improvements, but in the other side, Java, there is no improvements, not proper maintenance in uh, Java world, but C Sharp is really doing a, a fascinating job in updating their products. And uh, when, it when, it, uh, when it comes to job market, still Java is ahead. So because there are a lot of uh, vacancies, a lot of developers are working in the Java, but this state will change because everyone is slowly migrating to .NET because uh, in the old days .NET has some problems which is uh, .NET is cannot be hosted or .NET cannot be used in uh, the Linux server but nowadays we can use .NET in Linux servers because we cannot uh, we, we don't need a Windows server uh, we can also use that in Linux server. So C Sharp and .NET is really uh, uh, doing a great job in developing their stuff. So that's it. I would prefer uh, C Sharp. If you are a beginner, go for C Sharp. And if you really wanted to go to the uh, Java, I would suggest to go uh, for the JVM languages like Scala, Kotlin kind of languages uh, uh, than Java because those are really simple and highly performative than Java. So that's my suggestion and that's my this is my uh, analysis about the uh, tech and this may vary for you. Uh, sorry for that. And if you like this video, please like and if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions about this video you can comment below and please subscribe to these kind of videos tutorials and a lot of stuffs in this channel and click the bell icon for the notification